create everything. All right, guys. So last time we were working with uh, the API to be able to make sure our query string or our API code is working well. This time, what we're gonna do is we are just going to be going through the longitude and latitude using what they what um, free code camp currently gives us. So if you remember from an exercise, the this code that I'm pasting in here right now is completely from free code camp. It's in the git geolocation data section. I'll throw an annotation up right here and it should take you there. So um, of course if you're not doing free code camp it's gonna probably have you create a free account. But anyhow, so this is going to give us our longitude and latitude. And so we changed our PID here to data in an earlier attempt at this video. And we're calling on that data using jQuery to get the position.chords.latitude. So this is checking if this exists, if our geolocation exists based off the browser, I believe is what Navigator works off of, um, and the position. So it's saying change the data I, the ID paragraph data to display the latitude and the longitude. And when we save it, you'll see that it's there. So what else do we want to do? Again, we're getting this so that we can get the geolocation of where we're at, and then we'll end up changing our API URL here to the longitude latitude version, and we'll concatenate that string with these variables we're gonna create right now. So we're gonna create one called long, we're gonna create one called lat, and we're just basically going to store the data in it. So, oops, excuse me. So, we're going to say long is equal to position position dot chords dot longitude. And then um, to make sure that it's still working, we're just going to go ahead and put long in here. Save it. And you'll see now that we have two longitudes. So, cool. Um, so let's go ahead and switch that out. And then we're also just gonna set lat equal to position dot chords dot latitude. So we're gonna save that. We're gonna go ahead and throw lat in here. Just checking our work as we go ahead. Save it. You'll see that our latitude's still working. And just to make sure that it's not like a caching issue or anything like that, we'll go ahead and change the one that didn't have the identical value. And so you'll notice that it's it's working. So let's go ahead and put longitude in here. And so again, we're getting our geolocation so that our weather app will be able to say, oh, this is the weather in your area based off our longitude and latitude. And we're going to be using the open weather API to do that. So Coming up next, we're going to do a quick little video about how to concatenate this string and going over the Open Weather API. See you guys in the next video.